Okay guys, so I'm going to try to overclock my processor. Uh, I got an i5 2550K, which I recently bought from iBuyPower, uh, along with my PC that I built. I also have a uh, ATI 7970 graphic card. So I'm going to try to overclock my uh, CPU um, to at least 4.2. I just tried it f with um, 4.0 and it worked. Uh, I'm going to show you here. Uh, so, as you can see right now, I have 16.04, but let me open something up. It's going to jump to, it jumped to 4. So I'm going to try to do 4.2 um, and see what results we have with the core and the voltage and um, the processors. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot my computer and we're going to go into the BIOS. Mainly I'm doing this because I recently bought Flight Simulator 10. Flight Simulator 10 requires a lot of uh, uh, processor more than graphic card. So, you know, I want it to look better. So, we're going to try to overclock it to 4.2. I run several tests at 4.0 and it worked fine. I think my processors were around. Um, 56 and 60, 67 the highest. So we're gonna see what results we get with uh, 4.2 gigahertz. Some people overclock it to 5 gigahertz. I don't really have $250, $275 right now to spend on another processor. So I'm gonna do it the safe way and I'm gonna try to do 4.2. So I'm gonna go here. So that's the multiplier. Um, the it's set for forty, so for four point zero gigahertz, as you can see right there, four point zero. So we're gonna try for, we're gonna try. We're going to try 42. That gives us 4.2 gigahertz. So we're going to go ahead and exit and save. and it rebooted fine so it seems like it still works didn't burn my CPU so we're gonna go ahead and start all these programs that we need I don't even know what the hell I'm doing but So here we have 38, 35, 36. So it looks like it's doing about 37, just an idle. So let's go ahead and do some tests. Let's do sensor test. Start. We're going to use Prime 95 and let's begin. So I'm going to go ahead and let it run for about 10 minutes and I'll show you, um, actually you can see right now, let me move this out of the way to the other screen over here. 
So, as you see right now, temperature is going up 48, 52, 59, 56. So, we'll see uh, the minimum and the maximum temperatures that the cores uh, will go up to. So, I'll come back in 10 minutes. Okay, so I know it's not 10 minutes yet. Um, it's only doing. It's only about. It's only been about two minutes, but I wanted to let you guys know that um, I'm really not familiar with overclocking. It's the first time that I do this. I've had like four computers. I never had to do this before. Um, my temperatures right now, the maximum. It looks like it's 65 and 61, 63. I'm not really sure if this is normal. If I can push it more, uh, I will. I will go ahead and um, I'll give you guys the description of my computer. Um, it's right below my. It's right on the description. I'll give you my stats, and you guys can tell me, help me out, see if uh, if you guys can tell me that 61, 65, it's okay and it's it's normal. Right now, you can see that the um, the load is 100%. So, it's doing 42, 12, 44 megahertz. And it's only 64, 68. Wow, it's almost 70. So, but, I don't know. Maybe you guys, if you guys think I can push it to 4.5, let me know. I'll really appreciate it. This is really my, the main reason why I'm also doing it to see if I can push this to 4.5 uh, so thank you for watching and uh, please let me know later